As you can see, folks, Vice President-elect Kamala Harris arriving there in the purple, arriving on the east front of the Capitol. I would call that a teal. Teal? Teal or turquoise? Who am I to? Teal Iowa going up the east front steps. You can see some United States Capitol Police officers flanking there and approaching the east door. And I and our colleagues in the visitor services and guide service, we are in the Capitol just about every day. Here comes Senator Clinton and, and First Lady is announced. And that's the Bushes coming through the crypt now. And down the other side of the crypt into the chute. They'll be on the platform soon too with the Clintons. The Bush legacy, formidable. There is a tree planted to President Bush on the House side of the Capitol. Very helpful to have announcers. Vice President-elect Harris, who resigned her seat as a senator from California just yesterday. And today, very shortly to be sworn in as Vice President. So her office within the Capitol will move. Yes. From her senator's office to the vice president's office. Just so really, Rich, side Rick's of the really transfer the location of the vice presidency moment for the committee. They've put all this together. I, not just September, well before that, the planning has gone on. And, now, let's be honest, this this has been a our last inauguration. It was, we had a little bit of rain, President Trump, on our last inauguration. It, it, of course, President Obama, I, was, I think it was about 25 degrees. The weather is always an element. Ladies and gentlemen, the President-elect of the United States, Joseph Robinette Biden Jr. and Dr. Jill Biden. after me. I, Joseph Robinette Biden Jr., do solemnly swear. I, Joseph Robinette Biden Jr., do solemnly swear. That I will faithfully execute. That I will faithfully execute. The office of President of the United States. Office of President of the United States. And will, to the best of my ability. Will, to the best of my ability. Preserve, protect, and defend. Preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. So help you God. So help me God. Congratulations, Mr. Thank President. You. But we still have far to go. We'll press forward with speed and urgency, for we have much to do in this winter of peril and significant possibilities. Much to repair, much to restore, much to heal, much to build, and much to gain. Few people in our nation's history have been more challenged or found a time more challenging or difficult than the time we're in now.